Well, a big vote tomorrow at City Hall to approve tens of millions of dollars in contracts for construction of the new international terminal at Bush Airport. We told you just last week the project is stalled. The designs are changing and the airport director appears to be at odds with the mayor. All of this as Channel 2 Investigates has learned the airport itself appears to have collected approximately $115 million from ticket fees paid by passengers since this project began in 2014. Investigator Mario Diaz is live at Bush Airport's Terminal D with the new revelations. Mario. Keith, you mentioned those passenger fees. Well, in the past, if you flew from this airport, you paid $3 for the ride to take off from here. But that all changed in March 2015. It went up by $1.50, according to an airport spokesperson. Now, this was all tied in to the project that was announced in June of 2014. It's a project that, as we have reported, has lagged, really hasn't taken flight. It didn't make any sense under the under the old design, the design that existed when I came in. On multiple occasions last week, I did not have a great deal of confidence in what was before me when I came in. Mayor Sylvester Turner made it clear he was not a fan of the original plans for the new international terminal at Bush Intercontinental Airport. It couldn't handle many of the big planes, the big body planes. This 2014 Houston Airport System press release says just the opposite, claiming the new terminal would have 15 gates capable of handling wide-body aircraft. Original cost for the new terminal, 700 to $900 million. It didn't make any sense to spend a lot of money, let's say some $800 million, and you're still not able to handle the big body planes that are coming into the airport. The airport system director, Mario Diaz, disagrees with his boss. The plans have always had that capability. That was last Friday as Diaz walked away from our camera. We know how to do this. In April of 2014, Diaz touted his experience before the city council's budget and fiscal affairs committee. Uh, you're doing a great job of dancing around that cost estimate questions. But he never presented an actual fixed number on the terminal's cost. I don't want to anchor anyone um, in, 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 in by saying, because you know, I, we may come back and it may be seven to $900 million. Less than two months later, this is exactly what happened. Diaz's team declared the project's cost at between 700 and $900 million in this airport press release. More than four years later, $84 million has been spent, 17 million on design but no major construction. Now is the time when we need to start constructing, start building better design, can handle more big body planes. This is where the mayor's plan falls short. The new design actually has fewer wide body gates than the original, and yet the project's price tag has soared from the original 700 to $900 million to now $1.2 billion. This is a sound plan that would make the Houston and Continental uh, Airport much more competitive. We can handle more big body planes. Of course, a key vote is set for tomorrow at City Hall. We plan to be there to follow up on this investigation. Reporting live at Bush, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.